rounding up my little uh, road trip to what the heck <laughs> was that seriously a GMC Yukon XL turned into a stretch limo <laughs> Wow all right so you guys are looking at the scenic rolling hills of Sonoida Elgin look at that those mountains far off in the distance are in Mexico This right here is the Arizona Vineyard Country. Well, some of the Arizona Vineyard Country. This is one of those areas where uh, when you once you venture off the beaten path, there's lots of uh, vineyards and restaurants and cool little unique ranch places to, to go visit. So if you're ever in southern Arizona, this is one of those must-do areas. Uh, off to my left over here, we have the Whetstone Mountains. Off in the distance right there, you see the Huachuca Mountains. Down south over there, the Patagonia Mountains. And this right here is Sonoida. Well, we're north of the town of Sonoida. And so an interesting thing about this area, uh, if any of you remember the television show Young Riders, uh, it was about the Pony Express. But they also sort of modeled it after um, Young Guns, the movie. And that was filmed right out here, just, uh, just off some of these ranches right here. And in addition to that was, um, what was in another movie was filmed out here, they built a driving range, you know, uh, the golf type of driving range. And that driving range was used to film part of the movie Tin Cup. It was where, uh, God, what's that actor's name? Kevin something or other. Kevin Costner? Yeah, that's who it was. It was where Kevin Costner uh, had his little RV trailer set up. This is a Border Patrol checkpoint north of Sonoida here. It was where Kevin Costner had his uh, trailer set up. And in the movie, it was supposed to be like out in West Texas somewhere. So they changed some street signs on the highway to make it look like West Texas. But it wasn't actually West Texas. It was uh, right here in Sonoida. Uh, because <laughs> I actually know one of the property owners out here where that driving range was built. And he rented and leased his property to Hollywood to come out here and make that movie. There's another property owner out here who used to lease his horses for the uh, Young Riders TV series. So, uh, some interesting things about the area. Just the wine, they have lots of wine tasting festivals out here. Some folks jokingly refer to this as wine country because everyone who moves out here becomes a lush because <laughs> there's nothing to do. But uh, the truth of the matter is it's a beautiful area. And uh, if you come to move out here, it's because you want to be out here. I mean, just look at all this open space. There's some cattle out there. There's some hungry cows. It's not like there's a lot for them to eat. And uh, after about an hour and a half of riding so far today, I discovered something. And that is that this seat however comfortable it is in normal circumstances <laughs> uh, kind of becomes uncomfortable after about an hour and a half uh, but one of the cool things about this seat is that it's a single piece and now I'm sitting on the pillion seat so I'm a little bit taller in the saddle than I usually am uh, just to give my tailbone a break it's kind of funny, I, I don't feel like I have any different control over the bike. What do we got here? Slow it down a little bit. I don't think those are inmates. Maybe a survey crew? Arizona Game and Fish? Yeah, probably survey crew. So an interesting thing uh, out here in Arizona, they still have chain gangs. So uh, if you're jailed within the state, there are um, you can get a work permit and you can work for the state as an inmate. And it 
something that uh, actually a lot of inmates seem to like. It's competitive to get on the work detail. Uh, not only because I suppose it could provide you an opportunity to escape, but my guess is uh, it's because it gets you out of gets you out of the box for a while. I imagine that becomes uh, some pretty important leverage. prisoners in line in the state of Arizona which brings up another thing I don't, I don't know if you guys are familiar with it we just entered Santa Cruz County from Pima County actually we may have been in Cochise County I just can't remember how they're shaped out here but at any rate one of the more oh Roadrunner <laughs> Well, it's a good thing I gave that Roadrunner uh, rolled off the throttle a little bit and scrubbed it. I'm not sure he would have made it. <laughs> and at 70 miles an hour, I'm not sure I'd have made it. <laughs> so that was a genuine Roadrunner for those of you that have seen them in the uh, ever-famous Wild E. Coyote cartoons, Bugs Bunny cartoons. That was a real Roadrunner. <laughs> Man, what was I saying? Oh yeah. <laughs> The, uh, one of the more famous sheriffs in this state, uh, whether you like him or hate him, is Sheriff Joe Arpaio. And that guy, let me tell you something, I think he's got the reputation, at least the media likes to tag him with it, being the toughest sheriff in the, in the United States. And, you know, they say that uh, because he controls his inmate population with pretty tightly. Remember when, uh, I don't know, some 20, 25 years ago, uh, he said that in his jail, oftentimes uh, inmates got in a fight in two places. One was in the cafeteria and another was in the TV room, the rec room. So what he do? He took the TVs out of the rec room, put them in the cafeteria, and then he turned the volume down real low. And he says, now, you're gonna sit here quietly while you eat and not cause any disturbances welcome to Sonoida so that you can hear the TV <laughs> and it seemed to have worked there's some friends of mine that live up there beautiful little house and uh, you know it was it, it's just kind of funny because another thing he did was when they started running out of jail space, uh, Sheriff Joe didn't want to let people go. You know, that's become a popular thing. Hey, we hit our budgetary limits. Let's start uh, releasing some convicts. And uh, Sheriff Joe wasn't keen on that. So uh, he took donations and they ended up building a tent city, is what they call it. So it's basically like a bunch of old school army tents that he set up. Now this is in outside of Phoenix, mind you. That's it's pretty hot up there. Uh, so we got the ACLU and, and a bunch of other uh, inmates' rights groups, convicts' rights groups, to protest it. But uh, bottom line was, when, when it was being looked at, he's like, hey, look, if this is good enough for our military, uh, it's certainly good enough for convicts. And uh, he, he pretty much had them after that. <laughs> Nobody's, I mean, people still object to it, but uh, the guy's kind of got a point. Whether you like him or not, he's kind of got a point. And so he's managed to maintain his jail and maintain his structure without a whole lot of issues. I think he's been targeted quite a bit politically, but other than that, I think he does the job he's supposed to do. Uh, but yeah, I'll go ahead and move away from that. We're rolling into the town of Sonoido right now. Quaint little town. So if you lived in the outskirts from one of those nice houses that I was looking at back there, um, this is where you come to get things like gas, and food, and groceries. And there's just not much to it, right? So, I'm not keen on getting gas in little towns like this, but I'm also not keen on running out of gas. So, getting gas is what we're going to do. That should be all for now. 
I'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye.